Ahoy! Today's video is about force jams. No wait, it's force wings. So first I'm gonna show you how to get them, how to develop them, what wing skills are and how to learn them, and finally explain the wing training system. Wings are character specific and each can obtain them starting from level 130. There's a quest that the alchemist of port logs that you need to take and finish. Talk to her and she will tell you to bring her a box that can be crafted at the craft NPC close by. You will find the recipe in the first category and you need 20 upgrade and 4 scores of high grade for it. You cannot fail it by the way. Return that box to the alchemist and she will give you a holy water that you just have to right click. Once you've done that some feathers appear next to your HP bar which if clicked open up this window. Now I know wings look absolutely ridiculous so the first thing I'm gonna show you is how to hide them. Click the settings icon in the top right corner of that window and select this grammatically perfect option to hide all wings. So what's the point of having wings if the first thing you do is hide them? Well, they aren't only cosmetic. You see, wings can be leveled up and each level increases their benefit. For each level your wings have, your character gains 1 point of attack, defense and HP. That might not sound like a big deal initially, but wings are going to have something like 600 levels in the future, so it's definitely worth the investment. Next thing on today's agenda is actually leveling them up. Wing XP kinda works like pet XP or skill XP, you gain it for hitting stuff. However, I'm not allowed to use swear words in these videos because they don't have age restriction, so I'm not even going to try to emphasize how slow this is. Fortunately, there are other ways to gain wind XP. Elixirs or potions. There are several ways to obtain them, like participating in guild treasure, guild festival, spending DP, but really the main source of them is the dungeon that was specifically added to the game to develop wings, and for that matter there are going to be more of these in the future. Each chest has a chance to drop those potions or four scores. XP is not the only thing required to develop wings. Each time the XP bar is filled it's going to cost some materials called force essence to raise them to the next level. Those are crafted using four scores and each grade of four score can be used at the craft NPC in port locks. You may have noticed these three icons here. They are the wing skills I mentioned. The first one is a passive skill which simply increases movement speed when blocking. It does not affect vehicles. The middle one needs to be manually activated and by doing so it will increase the damage of your next attack. Only one attack, no matter how much damage you deal with it, will be increased by a certain fraction of it. And the third one is quite the opposite. It protects your character from an enemy attack, no matter how much damage that would deal. And it works as though the attack was missed, so it's ideal for avoiding crowd control effects like suppression. All of these skills can be purchased from the Alchemist of Portlux and once you learn them they will appear in your special skills tab. Those skills can be leveled up as well. There is something called Wing Grade starting with normal as you first get your wings. Once they reach level 100 they can be transcended to the next grade. That requires yet another type of material which is dropped by the last chest of the wing specific dungeon. Once that is done, the wings turn into rare grade and so on, and each time they start over from level 1. However, the stat bonuses for attack, defense and HP are accumulated and the wing skills become more effective as well. And the last thing for today is wing training. If you click the training tab in this window, you will see something like a skill tree. Those are passive skills with pretty impressive benefits. Every 20 wing levels you get a single point to spend on these. You've got three categories and each of them start with a branching. You have to choose one of them in each category and that choice is permanent. Once you choose it there is no going back, so consider it very well before doing so. The second and third skills are common but they require higher wing grades to unlock. So if you do the maths you've got 100 levels and 1 point every 20 levels, that's barely enough to get half of one skill. However, like I mentioned there are multiple wing grades and each of them has 100 more levels, so eventually you're going to have enough points to spend. Apart from points you also need some money and essence and there's also some waiting time for skill development. If you wish to allocate your points in a different way you can use some force gems to reset them, but this will not change the skill you chose in the first line. So I hope you now know everything important about wings, but if you got any questions, the comments are open as usual. Ahoy!